Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony Crofasi of Colorado Natural Medicine. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the laboratory kit instructions for the cortisol saliva test from Diagnostex. <clears throat> okay, so as always, uh, we're gonna talk about this, but as always, we wanna make sure that we have all the contents inside of the box. So make sure this is what the box looks like. All right, you can see this here, and we're gonna open this up now. All right, so I wanna make sure we open this up properly. So the inside of the box, you're gonna have a few things. First thing you're gonna have is a shipping label, okay, right here, so you can put this aside. Then you're gonna have a, um, a bag with a orange absorbent pad, and you're going to have four blue-topped tubes and one green-topped tube, okay? We're gonna discuss those, and then you're gonna have a requisition form. We're gonna put this here, and then you are also going to have a general specimen collection and shipping instructions kit. That is everything that's inside of the box. So we're gonna be going over those uh, collection instructions right now, and we're gonna put the requisition form in there as well for now. So, and the label. So all we have is the kit right now. So this is the important thing we want you to uh, pay attention to here today. So, first things first, you wanna open this up, and you're going to have four vials here, okay? We're gonna put these together. You're gonna have four blue vials and one green vial. The four blue vials are for cortisol. The one green vial is if you've been instructed to do the um, FSH or LH, so follicle stimulating hormone or luteinizing hormone test as well. Now, you're also gonna have this yellow or orange absorbent pad which you can leave inside of the bag. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna see on these vials here, we're gonna put the four together and the green one here, that you have one that says morn or fasting. You have one that says noon. Okay. You have one that says afternoon. And you have one that says midnight. Now, I've taken uh, just a couple steps for you and I've written this out. Now, as you can see here, this is a schedule that you're gonna wanna take these um, these vials at and so I would recommend sticking to this as much as possible so I wrote down the morning sample you always want to take between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. the noon sample you always want to take at 12 p.m. the green sample if you've been instructed to do this you're going to do this at 2 30 p.m. The afternoon sample you're going to take at 5 p.m. And the midnight sample you're going to take at between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Now remember, if you're up until 12 a.m., then take it at 12. But if you go to sleep earlier around 10, then no need to stay up until midnight or 12 a.m. and take the sample. Just perform it at 10 p.m. So it's just a little guideline. I'll write this down. It can help you kind of guide through um, when to take these and then you can write them down specifically if you're getting confused or lost. So the important point with each of these is you want to avoid any sort of food or uh, um, drink anything besides water. Don't drink or eat anything besides water one hour before each of these samples. So one hour before morning or uh, the morning sample, one hour before the noon, the afternoon, the midnight, or the FSH, LH, do not eat or drink anything besides water. In addition, three minutes before you take the sample, you want to rinse your mouth with cold water only. Okay, so <clears throat> remember, uh, really important to follow these steps as, as accurately as possible so they can get the most um, accurate results. Now, these blue vials, you'll see that there's a line one, two, three, four, five. If you can see that, let me fix this for you. So you're gonna see a number five, hopefully there, okay? And when you get it, if you can't see it, it might be a little faint, but you'll see that it says one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna fill the blue vial up to the fifth line. Each blue vial, you're gonna fill up to the fifth line. If you do the green vial, you're only going to fill it up to the second line or number two. Hopefully you can see that there, okay? So you're only gonna fill that up to the second line. The green, the blue ones are gonna fill all the way up to the fifth line. Now, I know you might think, well that sounds like a lot of saliva. How do I perform that much? 
If you're having a lot of trouble, what I would recommend doing, obviously, an hour before is you can um, buy some lemon juice and put it on your tongue, which will stimulate some saliva production. So <clears throat> you're going to complete these. Now, every time you complete one of the vials, so if you complete the morning one between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m., you're going to put it immediately inside of the bag and you're going to put this into the refrigerator. Once you complete the noon one, put it inside the bag, put it into the refrigerator. The afternoon, put it into the bag as well, put it in the refrigerator. The midnight as well, and if you complete the FSH or LH at 2.30 p.m., you're also going to put this into the refrigerator at 2.30. So in subsequent order. Now once these are all inside of the bag, you can obviously put this in the refrigerator. So you're gonna put this in here, you can put it inside of the box. Put it inside of the box and put it in the refrigerator. Now, <clears throat> the requisition form. It's important that you fill out first name, last name, date of birth, mailing address, city, zip code, telephone number, as well as the last sample collected on and then the date that you shipped it on. So if you complete the sample on a Monday, but you don't ship it until a Tuesday, make sure you make that clear on here that that's what you did. Um, <clears throat> the rest of this stuff will be taken care of. And then on the back, this is also what we want to talk about. So I'm going to put this over here. So don't get confused on this. Now, there's a few other instructions that are really important for this test. So we want to make sure that you are covered on everything. So, as you will see on the back sheet, it says saliva specimens. Um, for any saliva test, collect according to the instructions below. On this, you will see again, three to five days prior, this is very important that we follow these instructions so we get accurate results. Three to five days prior, we want to avoid any hormonal supplements in the form of any sublingual drops on your tongue or patches um, or pellets, so any bioidentical pellet um, um, hormone. You want to actually swallow them with liquid if possible, okay? <clears throat> you also want to, the entire day before collection and throughout the day of collection. Important also, remember, we have to complete this in one fell soup, one fell day. So we can't do two vials one day, three vials another day. We have to perform it in one full day so that we get an accurate reading with everything. So. Um, you can see the entire day before and throughout the collection, avoid all hormones, okay, regardless of their form, whether they're patched, sublingual, pellet, whatever they are, and all topical skin care items. This is anti-aging cream, moisturizers, lip balm, um, lipstick, sunscreen, anything that can interact with the sample, okay? <clears throat> so that's really important. Again, the saliva collections are here as well. Again, if you get confused on any of this, you can always consult this paperwork. This video is for educational purposes. Um, and again, for the green top, remember only to the second line. And then as well, as we said, we want you to be fasted for this. So the test um, laboratory wants you to distinguish when you took the vial, so remember, you're going to want to as well, on each of these vials, make sure you put your name and date of birth so that the test, that the lab knows who this came from and that they get accurate readings, okay? Um, really, really important. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is label the date when you collected it. Obviously, you want to stick to this specific schedule. The morning must be between 6 and 8 a.m. The afternoon must be at 12 p.m. At, um, uh, midday, 12 p.m., afternoon, 5 p.m., evening or midnight, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., okay? And then make sure that you indicate the last time that you did eat. Again, we want you to fast one hour before the test, so nothing, uh, no eating or drinking anything besides water. So remember, indicate the date you collected, and um, for female patients only, please indicate the date of the menstrual cycle the sample was collected on. So if you are currently menstruating, make sure you indicate the day that you're currently menstruating on. Finally, you want to fill out whether you currently have gingivitis or bleeding gums, um, and if you are not on your current weight cycle. You'll be able to read this 
with all of the requisition information and fill this out accordingly. Um, and again, if you are currently on hormone therapy, we will be discussing this important step with you, but make sure that you indicate the dosage, the time, and the date of when you're taking these specific hormones so that the laboratory uh, company knows this exactly and they can take the correct means and so that we can interpret them properly. So <clears throat> this is pretty much the instructions. As I said, we will go over these with you in further detail. Um, but that is how you perform the saliva test um, from diagnostics. Now, once that is all completed, you will take, as I said, the general specimen. There's nothing in the box. General specimen collection kit. You'll take the samples. You'll take the requisition form, and you're going to put this inside of the box, close the box. Now what you're going to have is the shipping label. And all you're going to have to do is you are going to take this shipping label and you are actually going to peel this off right here. So it's a sticky label, okay? You're going to peel this off and you're going to place it right on the box where it says, please attach UPS mailing label here, okay? So this is a prepaid UPS mailing label. You're going to attach it, peel it off, put it just like that. And that is it. Now you're gonna take this box over to UPS. Ship it preferably the day of. If not, you can ship it within three days, but we wanna get it usually within 24 to 48 hours max so that we get the most accurate reading. So again, that's how you perform the diagnostic solutions, I'm sorry, the Diagnostex um, saliva test kit for cortisol, as well as for other hormonal imbalances. This test is fantastic if you are dealing with chronic stress, if you're dealing with any sort of infection or other thing going on in the body to identify what might be inhibiting um, different body systems from working properly, as well as identifying the stages of adrenal stress or hypothalamic pituitary adrenal dysfunction. So again, I'm Dr. Anthony Crofossi. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this helped you and have a great day.